It's a crisp autumn morning, and in the early hours just before daybreak, a cool mist drifts over a grassy field covered by an assortment of waking giants that gradually rise together with the southwest sun. This swelling tapestry of shapes and colors paints the October sky annually in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Famous for its stable weather conditions and an ideal wind pattern, the city offers a favorable combination of climate and open space that permits hundreds of hot air balloons to fly safely at the same time. Now the Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta is of course known for balloons, but it's also known as an RV event. It's a bucket list item for many RVers to come to this event because from here on the field, you can see RVs in almost all directions. There's lots of RV parking here and people come from all over in their RVs to attend the event from the comfort of their own rolling home. Commuting to any destination comes with all the potential of an enjoyable road trip. And on this occasion, your journey is met with the convenience of driving straight into the venue, avoiding the need to make any arrangements elsewhere, as this prime location is suitably equipped with several rally-style parking areas designated for RV camping right next to the launch and land sites. Being able to set up on the spot eliminates the hassle that comes with dealing with hotels and the notorious morning fiesta traffic, since being on the grounds before sunrise is key to making it in time for all the spectacles beginning at dawn. Choosing to attend in a recreational vehicle offers the additional incentive of signing up with an RV tour group. Fantasy RV Tours has been in attendance at the Fiesta over a dozen times and have thereby established a level of expertise regarding all of the entertainment, helping to ensure new and returning travelers don't get lost in the sea of spectators and scheduled events. The Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta is so big that it can be intimidating to come to. And making plans to come here on your own can be daunting, whether it's finding a place to stay or knowing what to do once you get here. So today I'm here talking with Nell Fillinger, the founder of Fantasy RV Tours, about all the things that can be done for you with an organized group tour to make it run seamlessly. So we've talked a lot about how like, daunting this can be for people. It's, it's a pretty big deal to try to come here. We've talked to some other people who came on their own and they said something that resonated with me. And they said, I I'm not sure what I should do or where I should go or when. Is that the kind of thing that you set up for people? Yes, it, it is overwhelming. You come to a big event like this with thousands and thousands of RVs and so much traffic in a city like Albuquerque. And it's hard to know if you've got limited time where the best sites are, what you should really see, where you should go in the community, and what time and transportation to get over to the balloon field. We have that all handled. And we, since we come here year after year, we want to take you to those can't miss things in the community. And then you certainly don't want to be late to the balloon field and miss the shuttle or any of that type of thing. I can tell you know where to go because you've set up here in this tent and where we're all camped here in a place where all the balloons were landing. Yes, they come right overhead and they'll land sometimes right outside the hospitality tent and we see the chase crew and it's just so exciting to be up and close and have that hands-on almost experience. And having so many meals provided and so much service provided so much of the logistics taken care of has made it much more like that, much easier to focus on being on vacation. It, it is a vacation. That's what they're here for. They didn't come here to cook a lot in their RV and to take care of all the logistics that go with it. We've got it all handled for them. I thought it was so cool that balloons landed literally right here yes. between the RVs in this now RV park. That, that was incredible. 
Yes. How did you arrange that? Oh, well, <laughs> it's a Mother Nature who takes care of that, and it depends on the box and how they're flying that day. And we have guests who, after they go over for one morning ascension, they decide to sit outside their RV with their coffee, and they can see the ascension from here and follow them and see where they land. And you can go to the balloon field every day, or you can sit at your RV and you, you don't have to leave the comfort of your little patio or your coffee area sitting out with your pet. And it's just a wonderful way to experience the balloons. When it rains here, the balloons don't fly and the guests love getting out of their RVs and coming in and playing cards and we do spontaneous socials and, and games. So it's just a great gathering event here. And our, our guests tell us it's one of the, other than the balloons, it's one of their favorite parts of, of going with a, a group here at the Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta. We feel lucky to be here. It's just a great experience. And it's been like a no brainer to have the schedule that you've given us say, oh, be here for the evening glow, be here for the launch in the morning. If you want to see the dawn patrol go up, yes. here's when to go and how to get there. And if we want to take our bikes or walk, we can, but the shuttle buses and even the golf carts are available. Yes, we provide golf carts for those who don't want to get on the shuttle bus for whatever reason. We have golf carts going back and forth all day long. Much like how these organized courtesy carts transport spectators to and from their desired places in the park, Fantasy RV Tours connects all the dots regarding campground details, beginning with the most crucial item of guaranteeing a space for their members. Due to its soaring popularity, booking a spot at the Fiesta requires making reservations at least a year or two in advance, while keeping in mind that in order to accommodate such a large number of visitors, the open-air festival is staged remotely in the northern part of the city, which typically means boondocking with no hookups. But as per frequent participant and rally master Carol Tesley, teaming up with a tour group before anything else means you'll have a spot secured and key amenities available when you arrive. So you've experienced the Fiesta oh, a yes, couple of I times. Oh, yes, I have. Yeah, oh, definitely. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah. Now, it seems like there's an awful lot of people who are interested in coming to the Fiesta, so there's a lot of demand. Yes, there is. Getting tickets is a challenge. Yes, oh, definitely. And real challenge is getting an RV spot. So. Right, there's a limited number. Yes, there is. Okay. Yeah, definitely. So the easiest way to do it is with an RV group. And so that means you can book in advance with the RV group right. and ensure that you're going to have a slot. Correct, years in advance. But those, those spots, a lot of them are boondocking, dry camping spots, correct? Yes, they are. Um, I would say the majority of them are boondocking. Um, and if we're, for, for instance, we're boondocking. However, um, our tour company has brought in generators and we're providing power to everybody. Right, that's, so, a, that's a big advantage with the weather. That weathers. is, so even if you can't get a premium site, um, our generator power, you know, we can supply that to everybody. So we've got a hundred sites with generator power with 30 amp power. Oh, great. Yeah, I would imagine there's a lot of people who aren't necessarily used to spending this long a time dry Doing camping. That's correct. So having access to power alleviates that issue at least. Right. Well, and we also provide um, dump service and water service once during their stay also. We take care of it all. Oh, that's great. Now, what, what do you typically hear from people who are coming on the tour as far as why they chose to do the tour as opposed to doing it on their own? I think the ease in planning. I mm -hmm. think, you know, it, it's difficult to figure out, you know, where, the, where they're gonna camp, um, what's the food situation, how can you get in and out of the park? Mm -hmm. We figure out, you know, we tell them all that as part of our orientation, you know, we give them a schedule, let them know when their meals are, all that kind of stuff. So I think it, we just try to make it easy for them. And they don't want, like you said, they don't want to have the hassle of trying to figure out how to do it all. Sure. Having all the essential bases covered gives attendees more time to feast their eyes on the main attractions they've been looking forward to the most, such as the Dawn Patrol, which takes off each morning to ensure that conditions are safe for a harmonious launch, followed by repeated balloon glows, which burn, flicker, and sparkle to instantly reignite the roars of enthusiasm. 
Then the magnificent mass ascension, where waves of balloons set sail on a river of wind, bringing the desert skies into full bloom. Or perhaps the Special Shapes Rodeo, showcasing all the unconventional structures billowing out from among the nylon forests of bobbing orbs. One of the additional events that you had scheduled here for the fiesta was bringing in a, one of the balloon pilots, correct? Yes. Uh, we've had Al for a number of years. Um, it's, it's fun to hear a pilot's perspective and to be able to talk one-on-one -on -one with a pilot that knows what's going on. Yeah, sure. He also instructs, so um, he does instruction here locally in Albuquerque. Oh, great. So it's nice that he, we get a kind of an abbreviated class. Yeah, well, after seeing Al here uh -huh. at, in the tent, we got to see him over on the field in oh, his element, did. in his balloon. Yes. So that was really amazing. And to see him actually operating was exactly. great. Exactly. Yeah, it's great. Everyone says you got to do it. And the easiest way is to sign up with a group tour. Absolutely. Yeah. And bring your RV. And bring your RV. That's best. Experiencing the Fiesta to its greatest potential also finds a perfect combination with RVing. As the most beneficial way of attending the event, rolling a recreational vehicle into the mix is the main ingredient to minimizing stress and maximizing your stay. A number of external worries are relieved as soon as you're parked on site, and any concerns about not arriving in time to see those crowd favorite spectacles at sunrise are replaced with all the possibilities of balloons landing just steps from your rig. The consideration and support dedicated to RVers in the park is enough to convince any visitor that reserving a site or joining a tour group gives this select audience an uninterrupted panoramic view of all the amusement with an abundance of launches, landings, and glows. It encourages a means of participation that complements every aspect of this festival, from dodging delays to navigating the grounds with a much better grasp of the surroundings and scheduled events. At the end of a long, action-packed day, it becomes very apparent that having your home base in tow is key to realizing this bucket list dream and the most rewarding approach to finally checking it off. Fantasy RV Tours, for your RV trip of a lifetime.